So in this video, we're going to be looking at construction management versus civil engineering. I'm going to be talking about what the difference is. So if you're considering going into, into any of these two roles, please stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go through specifically what is construction management, uh, what is civil engineering, the education and qualifications needed for both, um, the career paths and opportunities in both. I'm going to look at why some construction managers have civil engineering degrees. And then finally, I'm going to be talking about degrees versus experience and what matters most. So straight into the video now what is construction management so construction management is all about overseeing the project from start to finish you'll be dealing with budget schedules subcontractors health and safety and ensuring that everything runs smoothly so here are some of the key responsibilities of a construction manager first you've got project planning and scheduling so here the construction manager is creating the timeline for the project he's allocating resources and ensuring that each phase is completed on time uh, next responsibility is budget budget and cost control. So here are your tracking costs, you're negotiating contracts, and you're ensuring that the project it stays within budget, which is very important. Next, there's the health and safety regulations, uh, or the CDM regulations as they're called in the UK. Here you're ensuring compliance with UK safety laws and preventing accidents and enforcing site rules. Next responsibility is subcontractor coordination. So here you're managing the trades, suppliers, and consultants to keep, to make sure every, everyone, all the trades are working side by side with each other in sync and you know they're not clashing having arguments that sort of thing and that the whole construction project is moving smoothly and efficiently another key responsibility is quality and compliance so here you're ensuring the construction meets the design specification industry regulations and the client expectations which is uh, really important all right let's move on to civil engineering now what is civil engineering so civil engineers focus on designing um, calculating and ensuring structures can withstand forces like weather earthquakes you know stuff like that um, they work on everything from roads to bridges to skyscrapers to water treatment plants so it's a very varied role the key responsibilities of a civil engineer i'm going to go through some of them here we've got structural and infrastructure design so using engineering principles to create safe efficient structures next we've got feasibility studies and calculations before the project goes underway you go on site do site assessments you treat the soil look at the soil is it good you're basically de um, determining is it worth going ahead with this project is it feasible can we actually build the project next we've got compliance and building regulations so whilst you're doing this work whilst you're designing the project figuring out whether it's feasible you always got you also got to ensure that it's following any laws that you have in your country so in the uk it's got to follow all the laws and the safety codes for example grenfell um the grenfell towers we, we all know the tra tra tragic event that happened there um, with the cladding that wasn't safe. So now in the UK building regulations, I think they've got something in there about using a certain type of cladding so that that sort of fire doesn't happen, happen again. So it'll be the civil engineer's responsibility when let's say designing a, a high rise that will be using cladding to make sure that they're using the right type according to the regulations, the current regulations. Again, yep, so they're also responsible for site, serve, site investigations and surveys. So here you're assessing the environmental and geological conditions before construction. Supervising construction as well. Whilst construction is going on, they're responsible, responsible for overseeing implementation, ensuring contractors follow plans and solving any, you know, um, engineering technical type issues and problems. Now we're going to look at education and qualifications for the two roles. So how do you become a construction manager or a civil engineer in the UK? So here's a quick breakdown of the common routes that people usually take. So first, the tr traditional route. First, we'll look at construction management. So in construction, construction management, the uh, typical route is a bachelor's degree in construction management or also in civil engineering. And this is a popular route uh, for site managers, project leaders, um, those type of roles. Another way to get in is uh, a HNC or a HND in construction or the built environment. This route is ideal for those who prefer a more practical approach. It's a more kind of voca vocational approach to get into the role. Once you're in the role, there's certain professional qualifications that you can get. Uh, you've got the CIOB, which is I mean, the Chartered Institution of Building, Builders Regulation or something. I'll, I'll put that up here somewhere. Getting these uh, certifications 
options can boost your career prospects essentially now we'll look at civil engineering so again civil engineering engineering again is similar with civil engineering you can get a bachelor's or a master's degree in civil engineering it's good to get one that's accredited by the ICE which is Chartered Institution of Civil Engineers so yeah this is the standard route to becoming a chartered civil engineer is to get one of these degrees once you get your degrees um, you go on to get your certification with the institute and again this increases uh, your credibility may boost your career or employment and the jobs that you can get essentially um, so now we're going to look at the different career paths and opportunities that each of these two two roles can give you so career options for construction managers let's look at that first so you've got site manager you can become a site manager yeah you're just overseeing uh, on-site operations and ensuring that the daily workflow just runs smoothly you can also get into project management so if project manage uh, management you're managing the entire life cycle from beginning straight through to completion and hand over to the client you can also get into contract uh, management so here you're handling the procurement side of things you're negotiating contracts and looking at um, the legal aspects and terms within the contract and you can also work your way out to construction director this is a senior leadership role where you're overseeing multiple projects and teams so now let's look at the career um, paths or opportunities for civil engineers civil engineering you can go into uh, structural engineering sp uh, specifically so here here you're more focused on designing buildings um, and bridges that sort of thing to ensure stability and safety you can also go into geotechnical engineering this is the study of soil rocks and foundations and um, you're kind of like preventing failure you can be a transportation engineer so here you're designing roads railways and transport infrastructure in general you can also go into environmental engineering so environmental engineering focuses on uh, sustainability water management and waste treatment that that sort of thing okay so why do some construction managers have civil engineering degrees many construction managers start with civil engineering degrees because it gives them a solid technical foundation and problem solving skills with the technical knowledge knowledge you can uh, understand materials better forces and structures which can enhance your decision making process um, also it gives you career flexibility so a civil engineering degree allows you to switch between design and also management which is which is great if you want to do that again we've talked about the problem solving skills so engineers are trained in a certain way to identify and resolve complex problems so it can be good to have that degree and also it gives you a competitive advantage i'd say a civil engineering background makes you stand out if you're applying for more senior roles let's discuss degree versus experience what matters more do you need a degree to succeed in construction not necessarily you can get experience certifications and networking can be just as valuable the pros of a degree are i'd say it can fast track your career progression um, it can increase credibility and generally speaking can open more doors if you're going the experience route the pros of that are you know you get hands-on skills practical learning and you can take alternative routes like apprenticeships so that you're not you know working with you know heavy student debt burden on you i mean so yeah that's the pros of the experience route so yeah in conclusion i think you gotta decide for yourself which career path is for you if you love problem solving and more technical design maybe you should go with civil engineering um if you enjoy managing people uh, processes uh, budgets and uh, stuff like that then construction management might be the perfect fit for you so let me know your thoughts please comment below i do respond to all my comments uh like share the video hope you got value out of this thank you bye